Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand CMOS latch up and specifically this clip will be dedicated to understand the cross-sectional view of CMOS inverter and how bipolar NPN and PNP transistors are formed. And from there on we'll understand the phenomena of CMOS latch up, how does it take place and how can we avoid it and what exactly happens due to that. So first, let's see the cross-sectional diagram. Pay attention. First, I'll make the schematic of my CMOS inverter, which is nothing but a PMOS and an NMOS with its input shorted. This is my VDD. This is my ground. This is my input. This is my output. I'll label all the drain and the source terminals. Source for PMOS, drain for PMOS, drain for NMOS, source for NMOS. This is an N-type diffusion. This is an N-type diffusion. This is a P-type diffusion because it's a PMOS. This is a P-type diffusion. And we also know that the body is present in PMOS which will be connected towards VDD and body is also present in NMOS which is connected towards ground. So now I have made the schematic. Now I'll quickly go ahead and make the cross-sectional diagram of the CMOS inverter. So let's quickly do that. It's very interesting. Pay attention. So this is nothing but my P substrate. We know that through fabrication processes that when the substrate is a P type here in an NMOS, the substrate is P type and for a PMOS, the substrate is N type. So we can fabricate an NMOS on this P substrate, but we cannot fabricate a PMOS. In order to fabricate a PMOS, we'll need an N type of substrate or nothing but an N well. So let's quickly go ahead and make an N well here. So this is my N well. Now let's first make our NMOS. NMOS has N type of diffusion, which is given by green color. So this is my source of my NMOS. Impurities for drain. So N type diffusion for source and drain. And we know that the body is P type. This substrate needs to connect, be connected to the ground. So for that, we need to have a substrate tap. So this is a substrate tap, which through here, through metallization will connect it to ground. Similarly, let's do it for the fabrication of PMOS also. PMOS has P type impurities for its drain and source. And we know that it has N type substrate or an N well, and it also needs to be connected towards VDD. So this is nothing but an N plus tap which will help us in making this connection towards VDD. Now let's quickly go ahead and draw the SiO2 layer and the metal layer. I mean to say the polysilicon layer, the gate layer. So this is my SiO2 between the drain and the gate, uh, sorry, drain and the source. And this is my polysilicon. Same is the case here as well. And this is my gate for NMOS. This is my gate for PMOS. And we know that both the gates are shot through metallization. So this is my V in. We know that this is the drain. I have called this as drain of my NMOS and this has drain of my PMOS. So they both also need to be shorted and the output comes out on the drains of both. The source and the substrate of NMOS is grounded and the source and the substrate for PMOS is connected towards VDD. Let's quickly go ahead and make that as well. So they are grounded and this is connected to VDD. So with that, I have made all the connections. Now what happens in latch up is a parasitic, parasitic is an unwanted bipolar transistor. That means a BJT is formed and it's not one, it's two of them because for PMOS and NMOS, each one of them will give rise to a bipolar transistor. So NMOS give rise to an NPN transistor and PMOS leads to a PNP transistor. Now, Let's see where is this NPN transistor getting formed in an NMOS. This is an unwanted phenomena, mind you. So this N is going to be nothing but the source of NMOS, which is grounded. This P is nothing but the P substrate of my NMOS. And this N is nothing but N well of PMOS because NMOS and PMOS are both connected. Similarly, let's see for PNP. So for PNP transistor, again, the P is source of PMOS, N is N substrate or N well for PMOS and the P is P substrate 
of NMOS. Let's quickly go ahead and understand the diagram. The NPN transistor as we see now is formed between the source or the grounded end diffusion source of the NMOS transistor, the p-type substrate of the NMOS and the n well and the resistors will come to the resistors part here. Let's first make this NPN transistor real quick and from there on we'll go and understand the resistors. So NPN is present in NMOS so this is my NPN transistor NPN. We know that the N is going to correct one of the N is going to the source this is the source which is grounded grounded source or grounded diffusion so this completes one connection. This P is nothing but the P substrate of NMOS so we'll call this as V voltage at this substrate at its input and this N is nothing but the N of my PMOS, N well of my PMOS so it will go here inside and remember this N well needs to be connected to VDD so this is a tap or a connection which is made and for that to happen some resistance will get developed between the N well and its N well tap so this is nothing but my R well resistance. So this completes the diagram of my NPN transistor. Let's quickly go ahead and make for my PNP as well. So PNP gets formed in PMOS. So the P, one of the P is connected to the source which is connected towards VDD. So this is the connection. The N is nothing but the N well terminal. So we'll call this as V well. And the P now goes to the P substrate and P substrate which is connected to ground but this is a tap so there is nothing but a resistance which gets developed which we'll call it as R sub and this is how my PNP transistor will look. If you look at the diagram properly this NPN transistor is formed in the P substrate correct and there is a resistance R sub which is leading to a PNP transistor so this is going to be shorted here this is nothing but this P is going to be shorted with the P of my PNP transistor and this is nothing but my V sub. Similarly, we can say the same for V well also. V well is in the N type and we know that N is connected to this R well, correct? So again, the voltage V well after with the resistance is getting developed between N plus and N well. Similarly, we saw it here also that, so this is V sub and after which there's a resistance between sub and its tap. So with this we understood the NPN, the PNP and we also saw finally that in this NPN transistor this P substrate right and in the PNP transistor this N terminal which was nothing but the well this input and this input we saw where it is needed to be connected. Now let's translate this diagram to something which is easy so let's magnify first an NPN transistor and see if it makes sense to you. I'm going to draw this below. So I'm going to draw this NPN transistor here. N, P, N. Look at the diagram and tell me. First this N, it is connected towards source of NMOS which is connected towards ground. So this is fair. P is going to V sub. So this is fine. And other N is going through R well to some point. We'll see that where it's going. So let's call this as R well for now. Now let's see the PNP transistor connections. So PNP transistor, the P is going towards VDD. So this is fine. Here, I beg your pardon, I missed out a point. The N through R well is going towards VDD. So this is also VDD. I'm really sorry for missing. So this is complete. The N now look at the N of this PNP. It's connected and after which there is R well which is connected. So the connection is going to be this way. So this becomes my V well after which the voltage V well after which R well is connected towards VDD. Correct. And finally the third terminal of P is connected to R sub which goes towards ground. So let's make that. And we know that before it gets connected to R sub, it gets connected to V sub. And after that, there is a potential or there is a resistance between the substrate and its tap. So this is nothing but the connection. 
And if I have to complete the entire connection, this both are nothing but ground. So this is my actual circuit, correct? I have drawn the internal block diagram here. And this is nothing but my circuit, which is nothing but SCR, a silicon controlled rectifier. And we'll see how this is triggered and what happens due to latch up in the next clip. Hope you have followed this. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much.